couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another cool mini-series of lessons right here on Lickin' Riff and this time we're gonna learn how to solo with harmonics. This first lesson is gonna concentrate around the open string harmonics, the natural harmonics on 12, 7 and 5. Uh, we're gonna learn how we can solo over these. Uh, you can produce really cool stuff with this. Um, and then in the next couple of lessons I'm gonna show you cool stuff you can do with the artificial harmonics, the ones that you pick like this. Okay, and also, you can uh, do it with whole chords. You can also do the harp harmonics. Okay, I'm gonna show you everything. But first, let's start with the basics, the natural harmonics. On 12, 7, and 5. Now, in case you have no idea how to produce these, it's the easiest thing in the world. Um, it's actually easier than producing a note on the guitar because you don't have to press the string. You just place a finger above the fret, above the steel fret um, on 5, 7 or 12. You just touch the string, you don't press it down. Okay, you don't put the finger above the wood where you press, you put it right above the steel. And you pick and you get a note. Okay, on 5, on 7, on 12. So um, let's start. Now, the mechanics behind this is that you actually produce an overtone. An overtone is a building block within the note. For example, in this is actually made out of uh, tiny notes, just like uh, if you take a wheel full of colors and you spin it, you get a white color. It's the same thing. And the overtones are actually building blocks of the E note. So basically what we're doing is producing a pure note. This is a pure note. This is a dirty note made out of dozens of tiny notes comprising the, the note. We're not going to get into the physics of this. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that I know the entire uh, theory behind the physics, but this is the basics. So an overtone is a pure tone. Now, um, the note on 12 is the octave above the note, and on 5 it's two octaves above, and on 7 it's the fifth. So, um, what we're gonna do is this. Try to do this. 5, 7, 12, just as an exercise. just as an exercise. Now, your next exercise would be to um, play this. Okay, this is your first real melodic exercise. It's seven on one string, um, then 12 on the next string. And then the same with five and four. Then with four and three. Then with three and two. Then with two and one. And to finish off, you play seven on one. Just an exercise. Okay, once you got that down, do the opposite. This. Now this is uh, beginning to sound like a scale, and it is, it's kind of a pentatonic scale. So it's um, on five and six, 12 and seven. Then on four and five. Then on three and four, two, three, one, two, and then, um, no, sorry, on one, you play 12 and then seven, and then on the second string, you play seven, and that's kind of a melodic exercise. Now our next exercise would be to play two 12s and a seven. Two 12s on strings one and two, and then a seven on the third. Okay, and then the same with two, three, and four. Then again. Okay, just to check out the connections between the harmonics. Okay, so... Okay, then try three twelves and a seven. Okay, and then the opposite. 
uh, seven on your first string, and then three twelves. Okay, see? You can produce really nice stuff with that. Now, your next exercise would be to choose a seven, and then uh, use that as a pedal note for different twelves. Let's try. Okay, the seven on the sixth string. Now let's try the seven on the fifth. Now let's try the fourth. Okay, now this sounds particularly interesting, so let's try to repeat it and loop it around. And then, if you add seven on the fifth string as an ending, it's kind of an interesting line. Okay, a pentatonic line, but with harmonics. Um, then you can try to do stuff with five and seven. Now, five and seven are a bit challenging because um, the five on a low string is the seven of its um, higher string. Okay, it's the same note. So um, what you can do is seven and then five. Okay, and then you can try to do low sevens and high fives. Okay, jumping two strings. Okay, um, now let's try to jump three strings. Okay, sounds interesting. Now let's try to see if we can add a 12 in there. Okay, just randomly, but using the structures that I showed you before. But, um... I changed a little something. Instead of two twelves, I played two sevens. Okay, so let's try that. Twelve and two sevens. Okay, now every time you play a twelve, you can substitute that with a five, because that's the octave of that note. So let's try that. Interesting, right? Now another exercise you can do is uh, three twelves, let's say on strings uh, five, four, and three, and then a five on the second string. Okay, or um, downwards and then the high note. Interesting. And then uh, let's do it with strings one, two, three, and four. Okay, two, three, and four on twelve, and then five on the E string. or upwards. Okay, also on the bass notes. And you can also uh, diversify. And see what you can come up with. Now let's try to add four. Now that is a hard note to produce. But Fours and fives make a good pair. For example, if you play four on the sixth string, you have five on the fifth. This is an interesting melody. And I tried just randomly to add twelve on the next string, and it worked. Next set of strings, five, four, and three. If you can hear the fourth, it's a really, really um, the fourth um, fret. I mean, the fourth fret um, overtone. It's really, really, um, really low. This is a really interesting one. Let's try it with five on the second string. Interesting. This is a really cool one. Now, the next one wouldn't work because the four on the third string and the five on the second string are the same harmonic. So, um... Now, if you um, try this, they're really, really thin and they sound really, really weird. So now, just 
try to freestyle after you're used to all of this. Now I'm gonna try and freestyle a little bit. Might be uh, an interesting solo, might be a uh, boring solo, but I'm just gonna try some uh, random options and see what I can come up with. See? Interesting. Just pick a rhythm randomly and just uh, soloed around 12 and 7 on strings 4, 5 and um, 3. Try fours and fifths. Yeah, stuff like that got a bit muddled in the end there. But you see, uh, once you're used to the patterns, okay, those. Okay, all those finger patterns, you're used to uh, placing your fingers above the notes and then you're free to freestyle. So um, I'm gonna leave you here to try it on your own, but before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of lessons on the channel already and I upload a new full finger style arrangement every few weeks uh, and lessons in between. So why not? Just click subscribe and keep updated with everything um, and I'll see you the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Go have fun and let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.